In this step, we're going to take a look at how we can use the engine scalability settings in Unreal Engine to change the preview quality of what we're looking at, which will allow things to run either faster or with higher quality, depending on what we're looking for. In my case, because my laptop sucks so hard, we're going to be reducing some settings and making this run a lot smoother. But before we do that, we need to have a look at how we'll be able to test whether or not what we're doing is having some kind of effect. And the way we'll do that is in the top corner of our viewport up here is we can turn on show stats. And we're also going to turn on show FPS. And straight away at this point, you can see just how bad my FPS is. That is <coughs> terrible. So what we'll also do is have a look at what it is that's kind of making it take so long. So if we go into um, stat engine and where are we? Unit. There it is. We can see that the thing that's really making it slow down is this GPU time. So we're asking it to render beyond the capability of the GPU, which in my case is a mobile workstation GPU, which is not ideal for what we're trying to do. So we're going to make some changes. Okay, so if you go into the settings button up here, about halfway down there's a scalability section. You can see for the purpose of this video, I've turned everything all the way up. As I've been going through this tutorial, I've been turning things up and down as necessary just to keep things running, or just turning everything right down if things have been crashing. But you've probably been working at kind of max settings if you've not changed anything so far. So let's have a look at what we can do if we turn things down. So if we go from, at the moment I'm on Epic, if we go down to Low, you'll see that things have improved straight away. I'm up into the 20s on my frame rate. Um, and there are still some things not reduced in the viewport here. If we play the game, you can see that I'm now approaching 40. Um, and everything's a lot smoother. I can now move around, that's quite nice. But there's some sacrifices. The resolution's been lowered and all my grass has gone. So let's have a look at what's going on there and why that's happening. So. The resolution lowered. When I went to low, this resolution scale came down to 25%. So that's 25% of what the full resolution would be. So that's really, really low. So what I'm going to go for actually is something a little bit higher. Let's go for about 65%, which should be a lot better. I just want my view distance to be up a little bit. I'm going to increase my foliage. We'll try it on high, but I might bring that back down. Um, shadows, I want to be on medium. Uh, we'll have post-processing on medium as well. And we'll try and get away with everything else on low for now. So now let's see. So in the kind of main editor window, I'm still struggling a little bit. But I don't have to have things on real time. I can turn that off and just kind of move things around as and when, which is a little bit easier on the GPU. But what I'm really interested in, what it performs like when I play. So you can see I'm now kind of in the 20s. Uh, and that's not too bad. I do actually know that these settings will put me at about 30 when I'm not recording the screen. So there is something I can do to um, kind of alleviate that. It's not, not record the screen, but that would make it really difficult to put tutorials out. So what I'll do, just to give myself a little bit more performance, is I'm going to bring the foliage down to medium. If I turn it down to low, I will lose all the grass, which I don't want to do. So... Uh, this resolution things are, are much nicer i would like to get closer to 30 though before we sign off this step so what i'll do is i'll just bring my resolution scale down a little bit lower let's try 50 percent or something close to 50 percent yeah i think that's as low as i'm going to get it i've got a feeling that i'm now being constricted by um, the screen recording software because i am usually able to get faster frame rates than this but this is what you can do in engine when you're editing your levels when you're editing your games to be able to just squeak out its performance especially if you're trying to develop on a machine that wasn't really built for it on my desktop i get much better performance because that's got a gaming grade gpu in it on the laptop which has got all my recording software on it not quite as good so that brings this particular step to a close you've now got an idea of how you can change the preview settings of the engine to allow for better performance. This is going to come in handy because moving forward we're going to start working on kind of higher end rendering effects. So we're going to be putting some lighting into the level, we're going to be adding some post-processing effects, so we might need to move these settings around to get the best performance. So moving on we'll be straight on to lighting, hopefully I will see you in the next step for that. Thanks for watching.
If you really want to take your learning further than I can cover in this series, then I highly recommend checking out Pluralsight. They have loads of really detailed video courses covering game art and game development using Unreal Engine 4. When I learned how to use Unreal a couple of years ago, this is where I went, and I log in regularly to take a new course and improve my skills. I recommend checking out the Introduction to Unreal Engine 4 course by Joshua Kinney. This is really good and offers a good overview of what you can do in Unreal. You can get a free 10 day trial by using my link in the video description and you get full access to all of their courses for that time. At the end of your 10 days you can either subscribe for more or cancel, totally up to you. It's got to be worth a free trial though right? I'd like to say a massive thank you to my patrons. Your support helps me to keep making videos like this one and I really appreciate each and every one of you. It really blows my mind that people will support my channel and my work by pledging their money through Patreon. So again, thank you all so, so much. If you aren't already a patron and you'd like to offer your support, then please go to patreon.com forward slash Shane Whittington.